All right, guys, as you saw by the title and thumbnail, we have something interesting to talk about. This is the O-Knife Night Claw, the Everyday Carry Coin Knife. The first thing that comes to mind is a quote by Ian Malcolm from Jurassic Park. They were too preoccupied to, with whether or not they could they didn't stop to think if they should. Let's dive into this. This was uh, given gifted to me from a very good friend of mine. I've known for, I don't know, 10 plus years in the off-roading community, Aaron. And this is concealed carry with style. Okay, so yeah, it's concealed carry with style. Now the packaging is kind of stylish. It's nice hard foam here and you can pull it out and it's got instructions on how to use it because it's so interesting that it probably needs some explanation. Uh, it did come with a sticker badge. Olight, illuminate your world and a Olight challenge coin. Okay, then that's that's cool. Nothing wrong with that. And the packaging is very nice. Like it's a dense cardboard. Like, I mean, the packaging is very nice. And this is like a $40 knife, 39 bucks. I believe Aaron got this for free as Olight is really good at throwing freebies in when you order a knife or two. So like I ordered the O. Olight i3T Timascus AAA light. And it literally came with uh, this guy and this guy. Well, uh, maybe it was these two. I think it was these two. I don't remember. It came, it came with two of these three. Because one I got with the AA version, the i5T. So they're always throwing extra stuff in when you buy flashlights, okay? So, sure. Let's zoom in on this because, well, it's tiny. Like, it's legit tiny. And we'll do some size compare. We'll talk about that stuff in a minute. Uh, this is the blue and black G10. It also comes in a tan, on tan, I think it is, G10. So different, like, shades of tan. And it does come in the box with a um a lanyard that i didn't even pull out it's you know like a nylon necklace lanyard thing so the thought is that you wear this around your neck as an option <clears throat> uh you push the jewel and you swing it out and you get your d2 hawkbill knife if it will focus Still having that issue with it switching from lens to lens. Um, I did do some cutting of some paper. It's not it's not incredibly dull, nor is it incredibly sharp. It's okay. Um, it's built relatively well. But I don't get it. I mean, I kind of get it. I know Serge Pachenko did a coin claw. And I think Alex from Alex's knife box has one. And so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this down to Alex um, to check out and compare next to the original. And this isn't really a copy of, it's just, it's just different then. Um, I'm guessing this is legal in California because the blade is under two inches, right? Automatic knives are not legal in California unless they're under two inches. And that would really fall into gravity knives or in that same uh, category. And this would definitely be a gravity knife because there is no way to open it by touching the blade. You, you can't, this opens one way and it's that way with the button, the jewel button and flicking it out. So to me, it's kind of, Silly. Not sure I get the point. But people bought them, apparently. So it's worth something if people buy it. 
So let's talk about the size. Um, the Let's not zoom out that far. Show my messy desk here or table. Um, it's basically, if we want to talk like watches, it's 39 mil is an inch and five, six, 1.56 inches. And I brought out the Rolex Air King as a size comparison. It's literally that same size. Okay. Um, can put it under and yes. And the Rolex Air King is a 40 mil, 40 millimeter diameter. So yeah, I mean, again, it's inch and five, 1.56 inches, 39 millimeters. It's 0.47 inches thick. Weighs in at 1.3 ounces. The blade length is one inch. It is D2 steel. Blade thickness is 0.116. Um, it is G10. And yeah, I, I mean, I... I don't know what more to really say about it. I got um, the Oreo cookie also to compare with, just to give you guys an idea. I think it's a little smaller than your standard double stuff Oreo cookie, because why would you not get a double stuff? And why on God's green earth did they even make the Oreo Slim? I think is what they call it. Oreo Thin. Why? It's basically just two cookies. There's, there's no fill. What's the point? I, I should have bought some thin <laughs> Oreo thins to go with this because it's the same concept. Just because you figured out that you could do it, did you stop and ask yourself if you should do it? I don't know. You guys tell me. What do you think of the Night Claw? Here's with the Sharpie. Double A battery, uh, probably even better. The triple A battery is a better size comparison for this guy. I don't know. Like you guys tell me, <laughs> but I am all about showing all the knives. So we took a quick look at the O knife night claw. Thanks for watching everyone. I do greatly appreciate it. Stay tuned. I have some really cool custom stuff coming. Um, as just a quick teaser, yes, I have several custom Hellraisers that I need to still film. And one is for sale, not this one. Uh, that one is mine. Uh, but there there are some good custom stuff coming and some mid-tech Hellraisers uh, also I have. So stay tuned for some cool stuff. I know we've done some little budget and uh, goofy stuff, but... Coming up, there's going to be some very cool custom stuff, so stay tuned. All right? Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.